If there is one thing I've learned in the last decade of being alive, it is that RuneScape is huge. I mean, just look, look, check this forest out. It's big. There's a bunch of trees and branches. You can get lost easily. Look, and look at this, there's a desert. I mean, that's an entirely different climate than the forest. And look at this, a mountain. That thing is the real deal. You can't just go and climb that, probably. And look at this castle. I mean, who even lives there? That's amazing. What I'm saying here is, none of this would mean anything to us if it didn't have any substance. And you're probably asking, Jim, what do you mean substance? I mean the stories, the NPCs, the dialogue that gives them their background that developers spent hours and hours drafting up and coding into the game just so we can hold down the space bar and not pay an ounce of attention to it. Drink it, yes, please, die. You see, I'm a big fan of quests. In fact, during the summer of 2017, I made my childhood dreams come true, and I got myself a quest cape. Oh my God! I can tell you with complete confidence that quests are my favorite thing to do in the game. Unless they're in Karend, and they make you get favor to start them. Because favor is a terrible mechanic and should be taken out of the game immediately. Listen to me, Jagex, I know what I'm talking about. So anyway... A few weeks ago, I got in a call with Settled. I don't think it would ring that long if he's- Oh hey! What's up, man? What's going on? Jimmy, how many times do I have to tell you? Okay, stop calling me. Do you really think I'm pathetic enough I... to associate with someone with less than 30,000 subscribers? Oh, dude, that's just- Jesus, get a grip! That's, that is messed- that is- that was really fucked. So, that was the wrong clip, um, but anyway, earlier he suggested an idea to me that got me excited to log into the game again. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce everyone to my new character, by release. The objective is simple. Obtain a quest cape. But there's a catch. If I want that cape, I have to complete the quests in the order that they were put into the game. As of right now, there are 142 quests in Old School RuneScape. We are going to conquer each and every one of them, from oldest to newest as an Iron Man. Because trading is for schmucks. But also, we're allowed to use a bank because I'm not a psychopath and I love myself. All that being said, welcome everyone to Buy Release. If this face in front of you does not scream confidence, I don't know what does. So before we get started, there's a few more restrictions I want to go over that I set for myself. First things first, all the first quests that I need to do are free to play, so I will be restricting myself to free to play worlds until I get all of them done. The only two exceptions to that are going to be X Marks the Spot, which was released in February 2019 and the Corsair Curse, which was 2017. So we're still gonna do those in order, so I'll have to come back and do those later. But I'm not touching a member's world until I get the OG free-to-play quest done. So with that being said, let's complete the first quest of this series with our boy, the cook, the boopity boppity man. I can argue that Cook's Assistant is the most iconic quest in this game. People might say like Dragon Slayer or Monkey Madness, but Everybody remembers Cook's assistant. Not everyone had the pure talent to get to Monkey Madness or anything, but everyone remembers helping this idiot out, getting an egg and some flour and some milk. I actually just ran all the way back to Lumbridge Castle because I didn't realize I already had a bucket in my inventory, so I was like, oh shit. I'm also not going to be using items that were not released at the time of the quest. That also includes things like Stronghold of Security. That thing wasn't released till 2006, so not gonna take the easy way out of getting that 10K real early and uh, scurrying off and buying a bunch of shit. An iconic moment, ladies and gentlemen. The first quest is about to be under our belt. We have unlocked so much content for this account. So on RuneScape's release day, there were six quests uh, put out at the same time with the game. The biggest challenge is gonna be Demon Slayer at such a low level, but uh, I'm definitely gonna have to train a little bit before I take that on, or I'm just gonna get absolutely mauled by the big demon and his wizard companions. Obviously these first quests are not gonna be too adrenaline pumping to watch, so I'm just gonna kinda flow through them. 
I am getting distracted by busty looking bots, so we're not making the progress we should be. Hey, did you check out Jim's new progress series? <laughs> yeah, it's not really much of a progress series. He kept hitting on bots and trying to get an e-girlfriend. It was not very productive. That is delicious. I would eat this scroll if I could. I Can you do that? I'm just, just going to shove the scroll in my mouth in front of Farmer Fred. Okay, this is like our first real quest. This is where things start to get a little spicy. We got to keep on our toes. Can anyone explain to me why the swamp has turned into an absolute training ground for bots? <laughs> I don't understand. Here is the boy's house. Oh my god! You can see Wizard's Tower with the whole GPU thing on. That's incredible! I didn't even know it was right there! What? Who stole this skeleton head? We need it right next to our book on the altar. It's gonna be the perfect aesthetic. Everyone's gonna take us way more seriously. I'm just gonna take it though. Oh, yeah, there he comes. Right on cue. Oh, look. I opened the drawers. Look, buddy. You've got things to do. I've got things to do. I'm gonna leave, and you're gonna go sit down back on your little your little wall over there, and we're gonna call it a day. Oh, boy. Almost done. All right. Okay. All right. I just... I don't really care. I just want to be done. We're so close to being done. Thank you. Ah. So, I'm about to do... Romeo and Juliet, and uh, I had no idea that these these bots literally camp cadaver bushes. Forty seven. <laughs> Why are they doing that? Is that a lot to free to play people? Like, is that is that huge for the Venezuelans? Like, I have no idea. I like how this quest was completely taken out of the original RuneScape game because it serves absolutely no purpose, and it's just terrible. It's an awful quest, <laughs> and Romeo's dialogue is written by a third grader. I'm gonna drink this because I've never tried it. I don't know what it does. All right, and I am completely screwed. What's that noise? Oh, it's Jimmy sounding way more professional and clear in a microphone because it just came downstairs and I went and got it. But also, uh, Romeo and Juliet is complete. Still an awful quest. Take it out of the game. So Shield of Erev is gonna be the quest that separates the men from the boys because we're gonna have to try to find somebody to do this with. And uh, there's a few complications that we've got to get around. So the normal way to go about this is to join the designated clan chat and find someone who's on the other gang and just kind of do it with someone you don't really know. But here's the thing with this account, since it's new, we have some slight complications to figure out. So I'm talking to this guy, going the Phoenix Gang route, so, uh, you know, I'm twisting my fingers to throw up those signs from now on. Our first boss fight of the account, Johnny the Beard. He does not have any idea what's coming to him. This is taking so long. I'm so close, though. I just need one more hit on the guy. Thank you, finally. First boss down. One of many. Intel report acquired. Okay, I'm getting the shield half now, and then the real issue starts because I have to find a way to get... Somebody to help me without joining the clan chat, so I'm not entirely sure what I want to do. And I don't want to log on another account or have a friend help me. I want to try to do this in the most authentic way possible, but it's probably not possible. Every time I've ever stepped foot in World 301 Grand Exchange with all the free-to-play kids, I, I feel like I need to go take a shower in real life. So I'm clearly overpowered by gold sites in the most popular area so I'm gonna go a little bit west and uh, expose myself a little more all right we're starting with the standard message nothing too crazy just see if we have any takers maybe someone else is waiting for someone to say that okay all right we have to resort to unorthodox methods this might speak to them a little more I don't know yeah so uh, I gave up obviously, um, and I went into the clan chat on the Jimmy account, and I found someone who needs to do it too, so we're waiting for them to add me and get it done. So I met up with my partner on my blind date, and uh, <laughs> not who I expected them to be. Uh, they're level 100. Their name obviously correlates directly to how they play the game, so uh, I have to teach her how to do Shield of Erev. She literally has no idea what's going on. She has no idea how to do this. What do you do in this game? All right, well, we got it. We're, we're all set. It was quite the process, but that's all she wrote. The level 100 is following a level four to finish the quest. Ugh, that's hot. That is, that is, that is hot. All right, there's only one more quest to do to complete all of the quests that were released on the first day. So we got to train a little bit. 
As much as I'd like to make it crystal clear to everyone I pass that I'm an Iron Man, I will not be getting the armor from Adam or the stuff from the tutors over there because it was not released at the time of these quests release. It was only a matter of time before I post it up next to this fish fish guy. What's he even doing? And uh, get some food so I can heal myself when things punch me in the mouth. I've been grinding for a while, made a few trips. I think I'm gonna have about a hundred shrimp to work with. This is the first time in a long time that I've had to go to chickens to train the first few levels because I've always just done waterfall quest and got that out of the way to get 30 something attack and strength. But yep, yeah, that's uh, that's quest number 37. So uh, looks like we're dealing with the chickens. Hey guys, back from my chicken massacre. I got 10 attack, 10 strength, and about a thousand feathers. In the midst of my slaughter, I did a lot of thinking. Uh, I'm going to invest in a steel scimitar. I'm not sure how smart that is, but uh, I'm, I'm not the smartest guy, so expect a lot of these really stupid impulse transactions. Yeah, yeah, 400 coins. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna take a hefty chunk out of the stack, but uh, we gotta do what we gotta do, so I, I'm pulling the trigger. I'm pulling it. Ooh, yeah, that feels good. Yeah, oh, I like this. Taking a trip down Nostalgia Lane, just training on goblins. I think I'm gonna get uh, 15 attack, 15 strength, and 10 defense. I think that should be well over what I need to fight the demon boy. It'll also be a good opportunity for me to make back some of the, the coins that I just invested in this this weapon of mass destruction. So tell me, if you were the demon coming back to destroy a city, would you fight me? Would you? Because if I saw a man with a chef's hat and a brass necklace with these kind of stats, I would shit myself. Yes, magic ball lady, I know, I look absolutely stunning. Just tell me where the demon is so I can just destroy everything he loves. Oh, that's the- oh, that's the thing I need to know. I need to write that down. Oh god, paper, paper, paper. Okay, oh shit, I dropped it, fuck. You know the cold is not the reason that it's small. Yeah, see? Aim for their insecurities and magic will happen. So I'm getting 25 bones for Treyborn, and we've got our first armor upgrade. We're practically indestructible. Oh, I'll give you the key, but you have to kill 25 people and give me their remains. Easy money, baby. Prepare yourselves, boys. This is it. This is the real deal. I'm actually, I'm actually pretty scared to fight this thing, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Alpha, Echo 9 or 12, we are flanking around back, going to approach target from rear. I'm actually more scared of the mages. If I had to fight all of them instead of this demon thing, I I would definitely get my foot put into my own mouth. Okay, the strategy is to wait this red boy out until he gets really close, and then we strike so none of these wizards can, can PJ me. Okay, I'm bloodthirsty. I'm going in hot. I'm just going to hit him first. Yep, I got it. Easy. Are you fucking- Really? Are you kidding me? Look at this open opportunity. This is prime time, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, he's actually pretty strong, so we're gonna try to flinch him. So let's uh, give this a shot. Does it work? Absolutely it does. I'm a genius. We got him close. Okay. Oh, oh, really? Tell me how you really feel, Jagex. Tell me all about it. Yeah, I'm facing him head on. Yep, RNGs, this is on my side. We're good. We're good to go. One more. One more. Easy scape. Easy, easy scape. Easy scape. Yep. Okay, let me get my paper out. Oh, see you later, dum-dum. It was nice to know ya. Maybe next time you'll bring more friends or some protein bars or something. Give me that quest point. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, okay, all right, let's get out of here. Can you please, can you, can you run? Thank you. Thank you. How'd you die? Oh, oh, my guy wanted to do a dance by throwing his sword into the air and spinning around a bunch of times. So technically, if we started playing RuneScape on release day, we would have, we would have basically beat the game story mode wise, so. Go us. We've got a lot more to do, though, so uh, here we go.